Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over low battery supervision on your 2 gig Take 345. So first of all, what is a 2 gig Take 345? It's almost the same thing as a 5800 C2W. What it does, it's a wired to wireless er, converter. So what it does is it takes a whole bunch of wired sensors, it only holds up to eight, and it transmits or in, it converts them into a 345 megahertz radio frequency signal so that it can communicate either to your two gig systems or since the Lear controller, if you have it on a, one of the newest updates, it can actually work with that as well because the um, Lear controller does work with two gig frequencies as well. So if you have a, a wired system and you're looking to take over wired sensors, the two gig take 345 is definitely something that will work for you guys if you guys have a two gig system or a Lyric controller. Like I said, it takes up to eight wired zones and it transfer and trans and it um, converts them to wireless. All right. Now, the thing is, these are wired zones. So someone may ask, how do I have a low battery on every single one of the zones on the two gig take 345? If you are seeing a low battery on any of the zones that are wired in to your 2 gig take 345, that means that the actual converter itself, the battery is low. So the 2, two gig take 345, just so you guys have an understanding of how it's powered on, it actually, first of all, needs to be connected to a transformer, which plugs into a wall. And second of all, it has a backup battery so that in the event of a power outage, the two gig take 345 will continue to send out the alarm signal or the, um, the signals from the sensors by using the backup battery. Now, if you guys are getting a low battery on multiple zones on your Lyric system or two gig system and the zones happen, happen to be one of the ones that are tied into the 345, the, the take 345, then that means that the module itself the converter itself has a low battery. So you guys want to make sure you, one, if it's old, you need to replace it, or two, you may have just had a power outage, the, the backup battery may have been used and drained from the power being out. So you may want to just give it 24 hours for the battery to recharge. After you've given it 24 hours, if the system still hasn't cleared, I would try disarming it twice. Sometimes a, a, a disarm is what it takes to clear it from the system just to kind of wipe the memory of the low battery. If the disarm does not work, that probably means you have a low battery um, or that the battery is, is pretty much going bad. So if you need to replace that battery, we usually recommend getting the Ultratech 1240. Um, these are the ones that go in like the wired systems. Um, it's also the ones that you use for the 5800 C2W, and it can also be used on the on the 2 gig Take 345. Now, this Ultratech 1240 is known to last about five to seven years, depending on use. So, if you do, if you don't have many power outages, it should last you that long. However, if your power is constantly going out and the system's constantly having to drain the backup battery and putting a lot of stress on the battery itself, then the pattern the battery may go dead a little bit quicker than the five to seven years. So you want to make sure, again, you just check the lifespan of the battery. If it doesn't clear on the system after 24 hours of letting the, um, the power supply and the module charge up the battery again, if it's still not clearing from the system and you've tried to disarm it twice, it's more than likely you have an older battery and you just need to replace it. After you replace the battery, again, just disarm the system twice if it hasn't cleared and you should get all the low battery um, all the low battery supervisions on your zones, they should go off. Now, remember the two gig take 345, it is a uh, wire to wireless. So there's no way that you guys should be getting a low battery on any of the zones unless the, the converter itself has a low battery. So just keep that in mind when you guys are dealing with wire to wireless converters. That not only goes for the Take 345, it also goes, for instance, for the 5800 C2W, which is Honeywell or Residio's uh, wired to wireless. If you guys are still getting low battery supervisions on some of the zones on your Take 345, feel free to email us at support at alarmga.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.